Hi, I'm Michael Kraft. I'm the Senior Vice President and General Manager of Lycoming Engines. The biggest thing changing in the aviation fuels is the movement from leaded aviation gasoline to unleaded. So, you know, I'd anticipate over the next few years we're going to see the, the full rated uh, UL100 type uh, unleaded aviation gasolines as well as the lower grades which should continue. Uh, I would hope that we see a very cost effective uh, low octane unleaded avgas and a higher octane unleaded avgas as we move forward because you do have this disparity between engines with high and low octane demands, but I think it would be good for all the consumers to see this unleaded ab gas future. So I think it's quite promising on the gasoline front in terms of what's happening in the future. Well, this is an IO360 M1A, and many of the Lycoming 180 horsepower 360s are approved on the widest range of fuels possible, meaning they're approved on uh, auto gas at a 93 AKI or 98 RON. Uh, they're approved on UL91 and they're approved on 100 LL as well as many other fuels. So in terms of recommended running on it, if I was to, if I was a consumer of the engine and I had three fuels available, I'd really choose the UL91 grade. Uh, it's unleaded, it'll form less deposits inside the engine, it'll be overall lower maintenance, and the UL91 is an aviation grade uh, fuel for the engine. So it's very predictable in terms of that sense. MoGas has a lot of variables to it. From the vapor pressure uh, at the pump for automobiles, it varies between winter to summer, hot to cold climates. Uh, there's different percentages of ethanol allowed depending upon which country you're in, and they can either be mandated or just suggested. Uh, you don't really always have the control on motor gasolines. Uh, you can certainly, if you buy the fuel and procure the fuel to the Lycoming specification, uh, it is suitable and it is airworthy. Uh, the, the, the difference is though is MoGas has some very different shelf life uh, than the aviation gasoline. Aviation gasolines are designed for a very long shelf life. Motor gasolines are designed for a higher you know, turnaround time uh, and they don't really always hold their properties for the same time period.